All right, so let's go ahead and answer the second question from the 1999 AP Calculus FRQ. All right, so the question says, the shaded region R is bounded by the graph of y equals x squared and the line y equals 4, as shown in the figure above. So the first thing that we want to do is plug in our functions into our calculator. As you can see, I already did this. y sub 1 is x squared, y sub 2 is 4. And we can go ahead and graph it. And go ahead and move on to part A. So part A is asking us to find the area of R. So we can go ahead and write what we're looking for. Looking for the area of R. And the first thing that we need to do is find our points of intersection for our integral uh, upper and lower limits. So to find the intersection points, we just equate the two functions. It's x squared and 4. This one's simple, and we just take the square root of both sides, and x is positive and negative 2. Now we can go ahead and write or set up our integrand. It's the integral from negative 2 to 2 of our top function, which is 4, and our bottom function. I'm going to subtract the bottom function from it, which is x squared dx. And what we can do now is go ahead and plug this into our calculator. Math 9 from negative 2 to 2. And we could just plug this in manually. It's going to be 4 minus x squared dx. And we have 10.667 units squared, since this is our area of r. And that's how we answer part A of this question. Let's go ahead and move on to part B. Now, what part B says is find the volume of the solid, sol of the solid generated by revolving r about the x-axis. So with this, we don't have to worry about changing our functions in terms of y. We can just leave it and use our top minus bottom. And we're looking for volume of solid generated by R, generated by revolving R. about the x-axis. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is set up our, um, our integral function for volume. So for volume, we know that it is pi integral from a through b of our top function, which is 4 squared minus our bottom function, which is going to be x squared squared. And we know our values of a and b, so we can go ahead and plug those in. It's from negative 2 to positive 2 of 4 squared minus x squared squared dx. And whenever we plug this into our calculator, we will have the answer to this sub-question. So from negative 2 to 2. And once again, we can plug this in. It's going to be 4 squared minus x squared squared is x to the fourth. Plug that in. Uh, dx. And we can't just stop here. We, uh, we can't forget about the pi multiplying it times pi. And we have our answer, which is 160.850, because we rounded to the thousandths place. And since this is volumes, volume, it's going to be in units cubed. That's how you answer part b of this question. Let's go ahead and move on to part c. Now, part C is asking, or is saying, there exists a number k, for k is greater than 4, such that when r is revolved about the line y equals k, 
the resulting solid has the same volume as the solid in part b. Write but do not solve an equation involving an integral expression that can be used to find the value of k. So what we can do here is just sketch this scenario. Here is x squared. Uh, this is y equals x squared. And then we can do our y equals 4. And then let's just uh, hypothet hypothetically put y equals k just right there. And what we're doing is revolving this area of R about y equals k. And what we're trying to find is at what value of k is this revolution going to give the same volume as was that we solved in part b. So what we can do is write down the value that we got in part b, which is 160 points. Eight five zero, and we're going to have to equate this to something. Uh, our equation that we have here is going to be, of course, volume, which is uh, pi integral. It's still the points of intersection from negative 2 to 2. And then what we're going to do here is our top, our outer radius is going to be our k, the y equals k to our lower function, which is x squared. And then our little r, the inner radius, is going to be from y equals k to y equals 4. So what we do here is k minus our lower function squared minus k minus 4, since this is our inner radius. And then we have to square this dx. So this is how you set it up to solve for k. And that's how you answer part c of this question. So now we have completely answered the second question from the 1999 AP Calculus FRQ.